Okay, today's recipe in Granny's Kitchen is Balmoral Chicken. This is a really good recipe if you're wanting to cook something special for Burns Night on the 25th of January. I'm cooking for five people. So I've got five chicken fillets. I've got some strips of uh, smoked bacon. I don't use streaky because it's a bit fatty. And I've got a tin rather of Grant's premium haggis. We won't actually use all of the haggis. I think it's 150 grams of the haggis we use for all five chicken. So basically, you get your parchment paper first of all and you're going to batter out the chicken into a kind of butterfly shape. There's various ways of doing this. I've seen people bashing it with a rolling pin or one of these or whatever. It doesn't really matter. But try and get it as thinly bashed out as possible. That's about right. So inside each of these, you put three or four strips in, it just depends. Don't overdo the haggis. You can also do this with Stornaby black pudding, which is very, very nice. So take a spoonful of haggis, and you do have to mould it into a kind of sausage shape. If you don't like haggis, it will add a flavour to the, the chicken. And we're going to roll that like that. And then what we have to do now is roll these up as tightly as possible. And then we're going to lay them onto our plate because they have to chill for an hour before we actually cook them in a hot oven. So repeat that process for all five of the fillets or how many fillets. It's one fillet per person because there's actually a lot of eating in that. You can brush it with olive oil if you wish or some butter, but when it's cooked, we make a whiskey sauce to go with it, which is made uh, from double cream and, and whiskey. Uh, and that gets poured over the final version of chicken. So I'm just going to carry on battering out all five of these, get them into this, this tray, and then I'm going to chill them for an hour before I start cooking. 